one Z one here. Well, sorry, this is the third time I've tried this. Getting a bit tired of it, but I need to do it. I'm gonna walk you through how to run a Java, an executable Java archive or a jar file. You know these things here. Okay, you need to use it like a batch file or command prompt. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is turn echo off. So, um, yeah, I'm going to clear the screen here. Then I'm going to navigate to desktop programming Java. And then my jar files, which as you'll see is the file path from the desktop. See? Okay, so now I can type java-jar, and uh, you can type whatever you want here. Okay, we'll file name dot jar. Okay, and then it'll run it. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna close the program. Clear. Then I'm gonna do that. So I'm surprised I still remember the uh, options. Okay. Oh wow. So, yeah, that's how you run .jar files. Also, with my program, I can create a batch file. So, I'm going to create one for my Morse code translator. Okay, set it to 12 and... Let's do simplified Arabic script fixed. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna move this to eleven. No, oh, yeah, eleven. Okay, with with the batch file, let me full screen this. Nah. Okay, with with the batch file, you can type a command. Okay, and then I can type mode 1000. Okay, save as batch. See? Translator dot batch. Okay. Now let's see if this works. I uh Okay. Now let's save it. And then run it. Oh, 
Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do this. And save. Now let's open. Okay, what's wrong? Hmm. Okay, so it doesn't like me. Okay, well, you can create a batch file and do that. It just isn't letting me. Anyway, so good.